Hi, I am Naresh. In this video, I will show you how to do the integration between Amazon and CloudWatch and Oxygen. So to do that, uh, I'll go to the team first. There I'll choose the integrations and add integration. So here you can have Amazon CloudWatch. Uh, otherwise, you can simply search. So this is the CloudWatch. I'm selecting this. So let me save this integration. So here you can see the steps to do uh, the integration. First of all, we need to create an SNS topic. To do that, we need to go to uh, AWS console. So here, uh, just type SNS and uh, open this uh, simple notification service. And here already two topics are there. Uh, let me click here and click on create topic. Uh, let me choose the standard one. And here, give the name Oxygen. -y. So this is the name. Click on create topic. I don't want to touch anything else. Just give the name and click on create topic. And here you can see that uh, the topic has been created and click on create subscription. And here on protocol, you need to choose HTTPS because uh, on the see here, you need to add HTTPS subscription to this endpoint. You just copy this endpoint and you need to paste that uh, here. And let me click on create subscription. I don't want to touch anything here. Just click on create subscription. That is enough. So as soon as uh, uh, you uh, have uh, you know added the endpoint, what happens is you can see that status is pending confirmation. But if you go to the oxygen, there you can see a suitable alert for that. See here, oxygen QA. So this is the confirmation message for us that uh, now the SNS topic has been created uh, for this oxygen uh, CloudWatch integration. And now what we do is uh, we need to create an alarm. So in this video, what I do is uh, I will uh, uh, manually increase the CPU, CPU utilization. Therefore, uh, an alarm will be created. And due to that an alarm, what happens is, uh, you know, uh, we'll get an alert in Oxygen. Okay, uh, we will do that now. So first of all, uh, what we do is uh, we will uh, create, uh, let me choose CloudWatch. CloudWatch, yeah. So we'll open this in new tab. So here, what I do is I'll create an alarm. So here, uh, alarms, click on in alarms. And now, if you click on all alarms, you can see that uh, all uh, alarms uh, which are configured, or uh, you can click on in alarm. So let me uh, click on create alarm. Select metric. And now uh, click on EC2 instance for instance metrics. So here you can choose uh, CPU utilization. Let me click on CPU. So see, this is the CPU utilization. Click on uh, this metric. Click on the select. Okay, metric name is the CPU utilization. And the average is five minutes. Suppose uh, if CPU utilization is greater than 80, then we need to create alarm. Okay, so now send, a not send an existing SNS topic. You just click here and select options and QA. Okay, so I don't want to uh, do any auto scaling or issue reaction. Just I need to show you how to uh, create an alert in Oxygen for uh, CloudWatch alarm. So here I am giving the alarm name. So let me use Oxygen QA for CPU CPU utilization. Okay. CPU utilization. So this is the alarm name. And click on next. So now click on create alarm. So now the alarm has been created. Uh, so this is our alarm. Currently the state is insufficient data. Okay. Uh, why? Because we have given five minutes duration. Therefore, uh, 
uh, you know, we have just now created uh, this alarm, therefore the state is insufficient data. Now what we do is uh, mm, we will, what we do is we will uh, manually uh, increase the CPU utilization, okay? So that uh, we will get an alarm, okay? So let me see. Uh, in fact, uh, CPU uh, utilization is greater than 80. One is CPU utilization is uh, greater than or equal to 80. So this is oxygen alarm underscore one, and this is for oxygen QEA. Okay, so actually this alarm is uh, configured to send a notification uh, to, let me click on Teams, click on Ops. So here integrations is there. So this, so this alarm is configured uh, to send uh, notifications to this Ops team. So now remember, we have just now created a CloudWatch integration in this QA team and that this endpoint is enabled uh, for uh, uh, this uh, um, SNS, okay, oxygen underscore QA SNS. And uh, this uh, alarm is configured to send notification, okay, uh, to that uh, SNS topic, okay. So now let's see. Uh, let us uh, connect to this instance, Ubuntu new, let me connect to this, connect. So now, so I'll stress this, let me copy this command, let me paste this here, let me choose 100 minutes stress, uh, let me execute this command. Now, the CPU utilization uh, will increase. Uh, let me open this uh, alarm for, let me all alarms. Let me open this alarm. So here you can see the graph. Uh, and here you can, we, uh, we have, you know, uh, deadline, which is 80. So whenever uh, this goes beyond, CPU utilization goes beyond this 80, what happens is we will get uh, a notification to QA team, okay? So yeah, let's see that. It will take uh, a little time. So my dear friends, what we have done now, uh, let us recapitulate uh, a little bit because it will uh, you know, have some confusion. First of all, what the first step is, uh, we have to go to the teams, we have to go to the QA, and here we have to go to integrations thereafter click add integration then choose cloudwatch and we need to save this integration okay here we have the steps to configure oxygen with the uh, cloudwatch the first step is we need to create an sns topic therefore we go to the sns uh, services in amazon web service console there we added this uh, topic i mean oxygen underscore qa okay so and and in this topic we added the subscription for uh, with the https protocol and we added this endpoint okay so this is the second step the first step is we need to add cloudwatch integration in oxygen the second step is we need to add sns uh, topic in aws okay so this is the second step the third step is uh, we need to create alarm okay so we need to create the alarm so this is our alarm and uh, here in this alarm we configured that uh, um, sending the notification so okay so whenever uh, this threshold is reached okay so whenever this threshold is reached this alarm sends a notification to the sns topic okay this is the sns topic and this sns topic will trigger alert in oxygen so this is the flow okay so let's see now what's happening so so here uh, let us refresh this see here the cpu utilization is increasing because we are uh, stressing the our instance so we are stressing our ubuntu instance therefore see here now the cpu utilization is 34 why we are manually stressing 
because uh, okay because we have just uh, created this uh, dummy instance okay so we have not at installed any application in it uh, so that's why we are manually increasing the cpu uh, utilization so whenever the cpu utilization goes beyond this 80 crosses this 80 what happens is it triggers an alert in oxygen -y. so still it is uh, let us wait for some more time so this is uh, the confirmation uh, with the uh, uh, QA team. Okay, this is the confirmation message for integration between CloudWatch and QA team. And this is the confirmation for message for the integration between CloudWatch and Ops team. Okay. So actually we have uh, like uh, uh, two active alarms for us, uh, this and this. Therefore, we may get two alerts for us. One alert uh, will be uh, will go will go to uh, the ops team, and another another alert will go to the QA team. Okay, so let us refresh the instance. Uh, let's see what is the CPU utilization now. Uh, still, it is thirty four. And if you see uh, here, it is uh, stressing the instance. It is stressing. And still it is 34. Let's wait for some more time. Uh, let's wait for some time. Usually it will take some time. So we will get an alert something like this. So this is the test alert uh, so, uh, with op, uh, with the dev team. Okay. So I think ops didn't have the uh, ops have integration, but uh, I think I didn't test in for ops team, but the dev team has integration. Okay. Okay. So we may get uh, one alert for dev team and one alert for QA now. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's. So let us refresh this. Yeah, it is taking time. It is stressing. It is stressing the instance. Let's wait for some more time. Mm, please have some patience. Well, let's wait for some more time. Let's press in the instance. So as soon as this crosses 80, we may get an alert, alert in Ops Okay. So meanwhile, uh, I'll show you uh, some important thing. So here you just click on the integration. And if you click on this advanced, you will get advanced features. Uh, let me match alert, match all alerts, save this. So integration successfully saved. So here you have several options like uh, you know subject and uh, suppose if you want to give the alarm name and you can do that. And uh, suppose if you want a uh, region also in the description, you can drag this and uh, give the region also. So like that you have plenty of options. You can play around these options. You just save integration. Go to alerts. Uh, still, let me refresh this. Yeah, it has crossed and now see here. Just now, it is reaching 99.8. Uh, you we may get a lot now. Let me refresh this. Yeah, see here now we have the alert QA. 
So you can see that alarm and here you can see that this is the alarm name we configured, right? This is the alarm name. Do you remember? So this is the thing. Okay. So like this, uh, we have to configure uh, the integration between Ops ME and AWS. Okay. Yeah. So let me stop this stressing now. Let me cool off the CPU. CPU utilization. See here, it has been crossed. So both are in alarm state. Okay, so that's it. Uh, so likewise, we need to uh, integrate uh, Opsys with uh, AWS CloudWatch. Hope you like this video. Thank you.